Hello world, Hassan from Fused VR here today, and we're going to be showing you another augmented reality tutorial. Now we decided to do augmented reality again first because we think that AR is just as awesome as VR, but also because it's a great week and a great time to be talking about augmented reality. Uh, first of all, HoloLens, if you haven't heard of it, is having this awesome contest uh, with Unity currently, and you can check this out by just Googling for HoloLens Unity Contest, and there are prizes up to $100,000, um, and also dev kits of the HoloLens out for uh, competition finalists and participants. So you should definitely check this out, and we want to help all of you to get started. Um, it's also the week of AWE, or Augmented World Expo, uh, which is a great time for people to be talking about and thinking about the future of augmented reality. So in the past, we've shown you how you can click on holographic objects with the HoloLens and move them around. We've talked about voice recognition and behaviors in an augmented world. We've also done some image recognition, but today we're going to be working on text recognition. In the first half of the tutorial, we'll show you how you can detect words like test on this sign or stop on this sign with Vuforia. You can also customize the words that you want to detect. And in the last half of the tutorial, we'll go quickly into how you can deploy to HoloLens and we'll show you how you can see the text recognition working on those signs with an AR headset on. So if there's anything that you want us to help out with or ideas that you would like us to see get started or prototyped for the HoloLens contest or anything else related to AR or VR, definitely let us know in the comments. But without further ado, let's jump right in. First things first, we need to make sure that you have everything you need to get started with Vuforia and HoloLens. So go to the Vuforia developer portal, create an account, and create a license key uh, in the license manager of the develop tab. You need a license key for every application you deploy with Vuforia. In this uh, tutorial, I'm going to be using the license key HoloLens text recognition, and this is my license key, but you're going to need one of your own. You should also go to the download section and in samples, download the core features for Unity and the digital eyewear for Unity packages so that we can plug in not just to Vuforia, but also to Vuforia's HoloLens integration. Last and definitely not least, you'll definitely want to have the HoloLens set up for you to use. And you can get to all of the setup steps by going to the install the tool section on mixed reality of the Windows Dev Center. You can look at some of our earlier videos if you want a step-by-step -step walkthrough on some of these sub-steps that it has here. So once you have everything there, go ahead and open up a new Unity project. That's what we have here. And the first thing that we want to do is import those packages that we got from the develop section of Vuforia. So let's import a custom package, and you want to get the HoloLens package. So we're going to go ahead and import that. And we also want to get that core samples package. So here's everything for this. These take quite a while to download because they're pretty big. So I'll go ahead and wait until this is downloaded, and then we'll start with the next section. All right, the HoloLens package is finally in my project, so now let's import that core package. So again, go to Import Package, and now what we want is Vuforia Samples. Again, this one's going to take pretty long, so let's wait for it to import. Now let's set up text recognition. So all we need to do is go to Vuforia, go to prefabs, and drag the text recognition prefab into our scene. This is what's going to enable us to recognize different text dictionaries. So we can configure what text we recognize using this word list option. And by default, Vuforia comes with a set of English words that we can recognize. I'm not exactly sure what's in this list of words, uh, but you can work with Vuforia if you want to, 
to get a specific word list that matches your application needs. So for example, you might want to get something that's very related to history, maybe a field of science, an industry that you work in, or something else. You can also add in an additional word file, but we won't be using that. Instead, we'll use this field to just configure some additional words that we want to add to that word list to be able to detect. So we're going to detect the words stop and test. Uh, there are also some options down here for if you want to filter words. Uh, so essentially, you can decide from your word list, like, is there a white list of words that you want to detect? Uh, is there a black list of words that you want to avoid? And so on. But all we're going to be doing here is using the default word list, but specifically, we're going to show examples of recognizing the word stop and test. The last thing that we want to do on this text recognition prefab is select use word prefabs. So this determines um, what we are going to do when we actually see one of these words. So let's drag a word prefab into our scene. And if we configure this prefab, um, we end up changing what is displayed when we detect stop, test, or one of the other words in our word list. Uh, you can also change how many words you can detect simultaneously, but we'll keep this to one. So with that, we should actually already have everything we need to detect some words with Vuforia. So if we hit play, we'll see that this will switch to the webcam view on your computer. Uh, you'll get to see me right here. And I'm going to drag out my console so that you can see uh, what is being printed out. First of all, notice that Vuforia has started and the text tracker has started because we added text recognition to our scene. Now, I've printed out some words, and you see that as soon as this comes into view, I have this word test here, that the trackable test is found. When it goes out of view, test is lost, or if the view gets skewed, eventually it will lose track of the word. You can see the same thing with the word stop. So there you have it. That's already some basic text recognition, but we can spice it up a little bit by adding, as I said, some configuration to this word prefab. One easy thing to do is to add a sprite on top of the word or around the word to show um, an outline of when the word is detected on the Vuforia project rather than just in the console. So we're going to do that with a nice sprite that actually comes with Vuforia. So if you go to the view mark texture, you can use this blue outline or whatever color you choose for it to outline different things that you're recognizing using Vuforia. So I'm going to flip this so that it's flat on the x-axis and make it big enough to cover uh, this entire word prefab. So now what's going to happen is that we're going to be drawing this square over our words. I um, mean, you'll see that it's it's not perfect. Um, you would have to do some configuration to figure out how big is the thing that you're tracking, and then you would need to resize this sprite. Uh, but I just want to show you an example of something that you could do if you want to have a physical recognition of when you're tracking something. So now, again, we're using this word prefab to draw on top of text that we recognize, and we've configured it to show that blue sprite. So you'll see here that we get that blue outline. So this is what I was talking about before. You would want to configure this to fit the word size rather than just be some generic size. But we should get the same effect on test, and here it actually happens to fit the text pretty well. So it's as simple as that. We already have a Vuforia text recognition all set up. Now all that's left is to configure everything to work with the HoloLens. So we can get started by creating a HoloLens camera in our scene. So let's go ahead and call this HoloLens camera. We should change the clear flags to a solid color, make the solid color black, and also change the near clipping plane to 0.85. Uh, these are just the recommendations that the HoloLens website gives us for how to configure the HoloLens camera. Now we also need to link up this HoloLens camera with the AR camera so that the HoloLens and Vuforia can work together. So go over to the AR camera, open the configuration, and for digital eyewear, what we want to do is select optical see-through because we're going to be seeing through the headset, 
and be sure to select HoloLens. We'll also want to set the central anchor point as our HoloLens camera, and let's make sure that this is zeroed out. Now, to deploy to HoloLens, we also need to adjust some of our build settings. Again, you can find this all online, but you want to have Windows Store as your deployment platform. For your SDK, Universal 10, the device should be HoloLens, D3D should be the UWP build type, and a local machine is what to build and run on for this selection. Uh, we'll also have to change some stuff in the player settings. Uh, there's a lot to change. Make sure that virtual reality is supported and that you have the Windows Holographic SDK. Um, in publishing settings, you don't have to, but if you want to access all of the full HoloLens APIs, uh, you'll want to check on different features uh, such as internet client, maybe pictures library, um, microphone, if you want to speak into the HoloLens, spatial perception, and so on. You can find all of the the options for capabilities in the publishing settings online, uh, but we don't need any that aren't selected here. So the last piece is that we also need to change our project settings in, I believe it's in quality. You want to make sure that for the Windows Store, you've selected the fastest so that we can be running the most optimally. So now that we have all of this set up, um, everything should be set to work on the HoloLens. We just need to deploy our project and then we can actually see some text recognition and we'll have our blue outline for tracking. Now one thing to keep in mind is that if you saw the last video that we did on image recognition, the image recognition was, um, it was pretty stable. You know, we, we clicked the, the checkbox on the image recognition prefab. I can show it here. Um, we clicked this enable extended tracking to make it so that the AR camera and the HoloLens camera could work well together and share coordinate systems essentially. Um, but the problem is that on text recognition, there's no such uh, feature that's easily accessible uh, in the inspector. You might be able to configure extended tracking via code, uh, but there's nothing that we can just toggle on here. And so when you see this in the HoloLens, you'll see that this blue outline is displayed on top of the words that we're recognizing, but it's very jumpy. So one solution to that might be to try to figure out if you can get text recognition working. Uh, but I think that it's probably easier to just toggle off the blue outline. Originally, we only did it for testing sake, and you probably don't really want it in your applications anyway. I just am showing it so that when you have the HoloLens on or when you're testing, you can easily see when a word is recognized. So let's go ahead and deploy this. Um, so let's go to build settings and uh, we can hit build. I always like to put my project builds in a builds folder, which I've created here. And now we just need to build all of this and I'll show you an example of this working in the HoloLens. Again, if you want to see the steps for the entire build pipeline, either check out one of our previous videos or go online. So let's check out this demo. So now you'll see that I have my text marker set up and when I get close enough I can see that there's that outline so I am tracking but as I said it's a little bit jittery for both of these. So there's obviously some work to be done to make text tracking better with HoloLens and Vuforia but already you have something pretty awesome set up that can work on Vuforia by itself or on the HoloLens and there's tons of ways to extend this so thanks for following along let us know what you would like to see next and as always happy building see you next time